Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to Your Music Live here on Studio Live today, brought to you by our good friends at Distro Kid. Yeah, if you're an independent artist, a creator, and you want to share your music with the world, Distro Kid got you covered. You can sign up right now and save yourself 7% off your first year on any Distro Kid plan. And I'll tell you a little more about Distro Kid as the show progresses. This is our weekly live independent music show, two hours of the best music from all around the world. We're going to dive straight into it. Uh, this first track comes to us from Liz a day, and uh, it is called Family, a message of unity uh, and for humanity. And I thought it was a wonderful way to get us started here on the show this week. So uh, let's dive in and take a look and a listen at this one. Liz a day to kick us off here on your music live. <laughs> We are, we are, we are, we are. We are, we are, we are, we are. We are, we are, we are, we are. Sister, brother, father, mother, we are one and the same. We are, we are. Friends, chosen, hearts, shared. Wonderful message uh, to start the show with. Yeah, some smooth jam, some great vocals on that one. And um, what, I, I'm going to do the same thing I did last week. We're going to say one interesting or unique thing about each track. And that one, great song, but ridiculously good video too, right? It just captures it and engages you. Uh, yeah, amazing stuff indeed from uh, from Liz. And what a beautiful way to start a beautiful day here on Your Music Live. There's Liz here in the chat. Yeah, I thought it was a, a very cool one to open with here today. Uh, and about that one, by the way, Liz said, a song of unity, love, acceptance for all humanity. You could say literal bedroom. Po That's what we love to hear. That uh, that do it yourself, the DIY music attitude. That's what we really support around here on your music live. Uh, let's continue on. We've got some more great music. Uh, this one comes to us from Moon Pools and they say, uh, forget is about being caught up in the past, trying to evade responsibility and assign blame. We recorded the drums in our friend's studio and the rests ourselves in our band room. Very cool stuff. Again, love to hear. Love to hear about the process, the behind the scenes as well. So let's uh, give this one a spin, shall we? Uh, this is Moon Pools and forget here on your music live.
how just engaging and beautiful is that? Uh, again, there's so many good things I could say about that track. Uh, obviously, lots of wonderful positive comments flying around here on the show. But my thing there was the the, the chord change. It was just that unexpectedness, wasn't it? It just that build that you got. And so as much as I love the voice, obviously, uh, the, yeah, the arrangement of that song just really captures your attention and does not let go for a second. Beautiful stuff there from Moon Pools. And uh, i got got good news for you, Liz, a day, and for anyone else here. Uh, you get all of these songs. They're down in the description below. So they're all saved in there. If you love an artist that you hear today, by all means, jump down there, go find them, follow them, support them, subscribe to them, listen to them, and tell them that Pete sent you. Uh, really cool start. Uh, I don't know, there's something, something, something feeling, something's hitting different about today. I'm just, I've got a feeling this is going to be a great show. We always have a great show around here though, don't we? Uh, we'll play another song here. This one comes to us from Sierra Bell, and they say this song is a breakup song called Marks You Left. It's about how you care more than you ever will. Uh, it was written after a breakup and recorded in a studio. I love your stuff, Pete. Thank you, Sierra. And uh, we're going to jump over here to the cloud of sounds and give this one a wee spin. <clears throat> this is uh, Sierra Bell, The Marks You Left, here on Your Music Live. Stunning songwriting there. Uh, yeah, just the raw emotions coming through. I've always said, and this is what I'll say that's good about this song, uh, you can tell that Sierra's not leaving anything in the tank. Uh, she's given it 100% and emoting as she's singing. And you can work on skills. You can work on talent. You can improve your vocal skills. It's really hard to improve your passion and you can tell when someone's singing something that they are clearly passionate about and feeling. And uh, beautiful stuff. Three songs in, and what a roller coaster ride already, right? <laughs> we take you on a journey here on YML each and every week. And I do thank all of you, old, the new, uh, for joining us here this week. We're going to have a good old time, I promise you. Yeah, hit that, hit that thumbs up if you're having fun already. Do what Jenny says. Jenny's cool. You know who else is cool? Is this artist, Vivid Lane. They make some great music and this one's no exception. This song is about lack of creativity and interest in things I used to like. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, these problems definitely seem apparent when experiencing writer's block or trying to find joy in things I used to enjoy. I know, it's hard these days. I find even when I'm enjoying something, uh, I'm, I'm busy thinking about the fact that I should be adulting and doing uh, something else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give this one a spin. I think you'll like this one. It's called Black and White Waterfalls here on Your Music Live. Mm -hmm. 
losing my mind just a little bit. I don't know what to make of it. I can feel my creativity crumbling away. I'm a ghost of my old self, locked up in a cell, guarded by these walls. I can't escape my mind. escape my mind Uh, again, two really cool things to talk about there, but the highlight's got to be that super silky smooth arpeggio, right? The doodle 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 doodle. Just add some freshness to it. Like great vocals, love the low down uh, vocals with the. And, and he, oh, I'm going to say two things, aren't I? Uh, yeah, the layering of sounds was great, especially the, the that second vocal. And I'm going to say the exact opposite to what I said to Liz and Sierra. They were singing with you know the, delivering the passion. This was deliberately laid back, wasn't it? So just, uh, 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 uh. with that one, if you'd be like da 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 da, no, you got to uh, 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 uh. it just sort of gently swayed around, didn't it? Ah, oh, nice. Oh, I'm having fun today. <laughs> And you know who else is fun? Our mates at DistroKid. Yeah, DistroKid are who keep the lights on around here. They are our wonderful show sponsors. They provide you with the greatest platform for releasing your independent music. Uh, whether you want to get your stuff out onto Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, Deezer, you want it to be the next big TikTok hit, you want folks on the Instagrams to, to use it. Now that Universal Media Music Group aren't sharing their stuff, why not share your stuff? Uh, and there's a really cool thing you can do with DistroKid, and that is to split. Yes, you can do some splits here in DistroKid, which means that if you're working with another artist, you can actually share the revenue. You can share the love. Look at this one. I've created a split here back in October after I released my song, Timber Song, last year. And uh, Jade Starr, who played drums on this, I can make sure she gets paid. I can jump in here and edit the splits. And the cool thing is, the other person does have to be a DistroKid member, but they get a pretty hefty discount if they're not already a member. Or if, like Jade, they've already got 17 different artist names on the distro kid, you're good to go. And it just means that if you're working with a band or you're collaborating with other artists, you don't have to do that messy thing where it's like, oh, okay, so here's I got paid $14 and you're getting a 20% split of that for the Spotify royalties for the month. So that now nah, let distro kid handle it all. A great place to release your music, but also to collaborate with other artists. It is a, an amazing feature, and uh, yeah, love it, love it, love it big time. Uh, good stuff, and thank you to Distro Kid for support. Supporting independent music. There you go. My daughter subscribed. So, and that's the thing, Scotty. Once you subscribe, you might think, oh, it's a little bit egocentric, isn't it, to just want your stuff on on, on iTunes or on Spotify, but it actually feels really good. Uh, look, I'm a humble dude, but I even I think that when you look it up there and you see Foo Fighters and you see Muse and then you see Pete Johns, I don't know, there's something that something feels good, doesn't it? Feel like, you're, feel like you're a pro and there's nothing wrong with that sometimes. All right, speaking of pros, you know who I think are pros? The bloody Indigo Sunsets are pros, Andy and Stu, and they're back and they're not happy. No, they are happy. Happy to share. Hey, Pete, hope you're doing well, sir. This is our latest track and a bit of a different vibe. Recorded in GarageBand iOS with the animation for the vid created on Procreate. Painful experience. <laughs> the song is about that money doesn't bring you happiness, but some will disagree. It's just over two minutes, so hopefully you can squeeze it in. No guitar solo. Uh, it's called Perfect World Cheers from Golders and Cash. Uh, P.S. Don't know what I did, but the screen size was uploaded to a funny ratio, so you may need to click the screen to fit in. Uh, 
all good, mate. That's uh, fine. These days, oh, I like that. We're playing the video already. These days, um, the screen resolutions, like the one by one is like really popular now and four by three. Everything old is new again. So you don't really have to worry these days. Let's give this one a spin, shall we? The Indigo Sunsets, baby. Perfect world on your music live. back baby they're back the indigo sunsets with that track a uh, perfect world oh my goodness what, what how, how do i say one thing about that uh i'm gonna say the lead guitar part that jangly do, 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 that is gonna sit in my head in my brain stem for the rest of the day that is a really cool riff and it's a really good example of how you can add lead guitar a lot of people think your lead guitar is just comes in as the solo halfway through and that's it but no having a complimentary melody that complements the lyric a counter melody on your lead guitar just mwah, chef's kiss good nicely done yes awesome song all round there's the man with the plans to cash in the house I forgot what your name actually is, Stu, because I've called you Stu Cash for so long. It's Cashmore? Cashley? Cashington? I think it's Cashington. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. <laughs> All right, let's keep this party kicking on. We're going to play one more tune, and then I'm going to give you the opportunity to participate in everyone's favourite game show, Play. Fight. Yeah, if you're just new to the show, we do this twice a show, once in the first half, once in the second half, where I give you the opportunity to have one of your songs played right here on the show. And I'll give you the code word that you need to put into the chat right after this one from our mate Arise, who is just producing epic tunes lately. Uh, this is the first track from my album, I Haven't Left. This song portrays a passionate and mysterious romance between two individuals. It describes moments of intense connection where time seems to pause and the garden night becomes a magical backdrop for their interactions. Ooh, I'm intrigued. I'm ready to check it out. And I hope you are too. This is Arise and the Garden on your music live. Uh 
Every time we're touching, baby Time can take a break, we'll end it Eyes are dropping down the graving I know you can drive them crazy I, I know you'd like to fight Where's the garden that we Just the reason of my mind Sing a decision tonight, come out Don't let the day shut down that night Lay on the edge, I fell right Under the shed, I got in night Yeah We don't have to play the same bit Fix your eyes up on the prize Everybody knows the long game You don't mind it cause it's fun Man, the rise is just kicking goals and taking names and, uh, yeah, amazing stuff. Absolutely cracking vocals on that one and just all-round goodness. Someone mentioned it there, but the space, like so many of us, me included, it feels like you need to fill up all the space when you're creating because, you know, I can't leave a gap. But just that boom, from that first bass hit, Boom, like just leaving the space. Like it's just, yeah, it works a treat. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to n- have to turn everything up to 11 and you definitely don't have to um, don't have to fill up all the space sometimes. Leaving a little space can definitely work. Silence is power, truth, truth. Space is the place. <laughs> it is. Like look at design. Like you, you, it's the white space. It's the space you leave around things that can actually uh, make them even better. So you don't need to fill it up. Not like a, not like a primary school. You don't need to colour in all the things. Sometimes you can leave a couple of things blank and it makes things sound even better. Yeah, if you're new around here and you need to know how to get a song on the show, there's two ways to go about it. You can do exactly what Jade says there, studiolivetoday.com slash YML and submit a track there. Or you can participate in the world's famous Play My Fire Beat. Now, this came about because folks used to come into the stream here and they're like, yo, brah, play my fire beat. They wanted to skip the queue. They wanted me to play them. Me, 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 me. So in their honour, we call this segment Play My Fire Beat because it gives you an opportunity to throw this keyword in the chat. Look, Happy Ron already knows the drill. All you need to do is put hashtag distro kid in the chat and you'll go into the drawing and then after the next track we will draw from any folks who put hashtag distro kid just as our friends Jade and Barring and Scotty are doing here. G'day, Russ8889. We've got all the crew here putting their distro kids in and uh, we will draw that one right after this one uh, mike holt has been uh, doing some great music of late uh, he's dropped this one over on the cloud sounds and about this one he says a very somber song of a soldier riding home to mom the day before the big battle at gettysburg written after a visit to the battlefield recorded in garage band ios love hearing that love hearing how folks get inspired and yeah sometimes you you go somewhere and you're like wow i'm gonna write a song about this and that's exactly Exactly what Mike Holt did here. It's called A Place Called Gettysburg, and we're going to play it for you right here, right now, on your music life. To my dear, rest loving mother, I sincerely. Apologize For I have Not written lately But there is A reason why We've been marching Ever southward And I could not send you word That we have headed into battle Near a place called Gettysburg 
the southern heart me is approaching our scouts report on their advance if we hold on to this high ground then we might yet have a chance I can still hear Mr. Lincoln say How good I is that? Really cool. Yeah, get a bit, bit of Johnny Cash, a little bit of Willie. Uh, very cool stuff indeed. Get an Adam Corn. Uh, yeah, with that one, there's a really subtle thing in there. If you listen to it again, yeah, excellent melody in there. But there's a, the snare just like a... Tsh- it's almost like a marching sound. So it's like the song's in the foreground. And then if you listen close in the background, it's like dish, 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 dish. So it kind of gives you that sort of impending doom of like going into battle. Yeah, excellent stuff there from uh, our mate Mike Holt on that one. Now, should we do this drawing? Uh, we'll, it'll be a somber one because I, like I like to turn up the track that we're playing uh, in the background. So we'll put a little bit of Mike Holt in the background there. And we'll uh, hit the draw button. Good luck, everybody. They'll be coming. Who's going to win? A free play on your music live. It's going to be Forest of the Wolf. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations, Forest of the Wolf. They can choose a song. So how this works is we can't do links because if you put a link in the chat, yeah, you know what's going to happen there. It's going to be spam central around here. Uh, so all you need to do is in the plain text right here in the chat, just put name of your artist. So you'd go Forest of the Wolf, YouTube, name of epic song, and we will spin it right up next. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, indeed, Forest of the Wolf. We and this is the cool, cool thing: we find out who's lurking, we find out who's in the shadows in the background. <laughs> because if they want to join in, some people are just listening in, and then they throw their hat in the ring, and then it's like, well, winner, 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 chicken dinner. Uh, while we wait on Forest of the Wolf to decide what they would like us to play, why don't we play some Moses J Hawkins? That sounds like a bloody good idea to me. So let's fire this one up. Hey Pete, uh, which on top of being a greeting is also a great ten foot pole song, by the way. Really, it's a song called Hey Pete. Cool. Uh, this song is my. I learned a lot. What did I learn? There was illegal Pete's that Trevor Bear showed me uh, that the. the is a name of like a Mexican place in, in the US. Anyway, uh, this is my first lyric video and one I thought you might like. This is a pinch lighter than my usual fare, inspired heavily by the bluesy grunge of the mid-90s. Think Stone Temple Pilots and you have a fair idea of what you're in for. As always, best to you, brother. And the whole community at YML, well, thank you, dude. And uh, I love me a bit of Moses J. Hawkins and uh, this one is no exception. Let's give it a spin. It's called No Time for Absolution here on Your Music Live. This ain't the time for no absolution Oh baby, one little time is left You and me gonna see no future This apocalypse is all we have Show for it is this pain. I remember when we sang our days away. 
Very cool stuff there. Very, very grunge. Definitely some Stone Temple Pilots vibe there. Sounds like me. <laughs> Excellent stuff there from Moses. Jay Hawkins. And uh, what do I love about that one? Well, a lot of things. It's right up my alley. I love the tone, like those low down. I don't, I can't, it's sort of like a power chord, but sometimes when you extend the power chord and you just get those real kind of dissonant sounds, it just, it just screams 90s, doesn't it? freaking awesome video too sorry I, I should i should try to keep it to one thing but uh but i struggle all right let's uh, let's see what forest of the wolf would like us to play let's see if we can find this live because sometimes if i try to find it in the background i get distracted and uh then it also can do a little thing where you get a little skip in the song because um yeah, it doesn't handle things forest of the wolf has asked us to play australian skies there you go uh cool i like the idea of this obviously i'm in australia so it makes sense that we play this this one uh, and uh, I found it I've located it from just seven days ago brand new stuff here Forest of the Wolf the winner of our play my fire bead if you didn't win don't stress we've got another drawing coming up in the second half as well but for now this is Forest of the Wolf this is Australian Skies on your music live Dig in there as well. Very cool, <clears throat> very cool stuff. Uh, yeah, very Australian. Like the, that sky is something that I see very often <laughs> when, when I look when I'm out for a walk at sunset uh, or sunrise. Uh, yeah, beautiful stuff there. What I love about that, so many things. Uh, but the 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 production of that. The intertwining melodies, yeah, the do 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 do, and then if you listen in the background, the piano is kind of doing a do 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 do, like it's just going oh again, intricate. The sort of track that I'm going to have to listen to again and again, and uh, just going straight to the admin playlist, which you know, that is a big compliment because uh, the old admin playlist is songs that I dig that don't have vocals. That when I'm doing all that fun stuff like doing my taxes and answering emails. I like to listen to music just like that. It's going straight, straight to the playlist. Frank Terzo, can we get a round of the pause for Frank Terzo? He has just gifted 10 Studio Live Today memberships. They're worth two bucks a month. So Frank's laid out 20 clams to help you become a member. So uh, all the folks who get that membership... <clears throat> Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. We do some, uh, <coughs> excuse me, frog in the throat. Uh, we do some separate live streams uh, for just for members uh, and you get uh, the, the good feeling down in the cockles of your heart as well as some cool emojis and other things you can use. So a huge thank you to Frank Terzo. And uh, as uh, our, our friend and moderator, Leela says, there's heaps of ways you can become a channel member, you can become a patron, you can leave a super chat or a super sticker. Uh, there's a lot of cool things to do. Forest of the Wolf. Awesome. Really good. 
Really glad we could get you on the show. That's why I love the Play My Fire Beat segment because it's like the serendipity of just having a song like that. Uh, and in fact, before I forget, let's leave a like on it and let's copy it and let's throw that down here into the description because did you know that every single song that we play here, and we'll just put a little fire emoji in front of that one so we know it's the Fire Beat and uh, it's Forest of the Wolf. Every single song that we play on the show is listed in the description. I've done all the hard work, so all you need to do is go down there and you've got yourself like another probably the entire day's entertainment going and just exploring all of the amazing artists that we play here on the show each and every week. All right, let's uh, let's jump over to slaps.com. This is a, a great platform from our friends at DistroKid. Yeah, major sponsors, DistroKid. Have free service as well as the paid service to get your stuff onto your Spotify's and whatnot. You can actually just share your things straight to slaps.com for free. The Deans have done. Yes, our mate William Leslie. Just a good old rock and roll wall of sound. Why? Because sometimes it's good to just let rip. Can I just get a hell yeah on that one? Absolutely. Let's give this one a spin, shall we? This is uh, William Leslie, The Deans, and Melt Like Honey here on your music. Live. Surprising, but very up my alley, that one. Yeah, just really draws you in. Just simple, like the vocals on that, very simple. And that, again, is a an example of why you don't have to go super complicated all the time. Just the baby, I love you, baby. Yeah, it's just super cool. Uh, let's throw some more fire on it over here on slaps.com. Slaps makes it easy. We can save it to my playlist there. Sharing is just as simple as clicking and copying a link. And as you would have seen there, I can leave a comment there. And anyone can, in fact, leave a comment there. It is a very cool platform, slaps.com. If you're not already, if you're not already a Slaps.com member, why not? Why not? All righty. Uh, very cool. Just sent a list to myself and sharing to my patrons. Nice one. Very cool. Yeah, let, let people know. Share and share alike because I really appreciate everyone who supports me with the channel memberships and with the uh, with the Patreons and all the other things. But, uh, yeah, hitting the thumbs up button down the bottom there or sharing the show out to someone that you think might dig it uh, is also a very cool thing you can do. And it costs you zero dollar bucks. Uh, hello, the Metalhead Hippie. Uh, thank you for being here as well. No worries, William. That was cool. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, and yeah, you too can share your music for free. Be like William. Be like the Deans and share your music for free on slaps.com. So, needs no introduction. One of these days I'm just going to do that and then just hit play. <laughs> In fact, let's do that. Here's an artist who needs no introduction. Stabbed the murderer. 
murdered in the back. There was no witness to this by the book crime, except for an old clock pretending to keep time. The intended victim was famously known for being able to get blood out of a stone. There were four suspects, the butler and a maid, who was actually related and genuinely afraid. The inspector was offbeat, but clever and to the point. We have ourselves a killer in this joint. They all have motives, it was soon found. Clues were left laying all around. Memories of guilt came to haunt. A summer of love with a distant aunt. The daughter appeared out of the blue, wishing revenge had come true. Poison had been ingested, but not enough to kill. The maid was arrested for slipping daddy a pill. The inspector, eager to solve, hatched a plan. The flush out who'd done it as fast as he can. The sister was surprised. The brother ill at ease. The lover was perplexed. But See, here's the problem. Because we only play two minutes of a song... We don't hear the end. Oh, no. It's like a murder mystery that you don't get to, to find who the killer was. What's going on there? I love Michael. Michael, let's, let's have a conversation. I love this direction. I love all of Michael's music, but this direction you're going with, with the spoken word over the music, it is brilliant. It really is. And uh, it's something that you, you're encouraging me. I'm like... I wanna, I wanna try something like this. I reckon, it, I reckon it'll be cool. Um, not to, not to steal from you, but to borrow. Because I don't know. I've always wanted to do something where it's like just telling a story in like a low down voice over the top of something. Uh, hello, Leany. Hope you are doing well, my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little, bit, little, little ASMR like. Yeah, something like that. All right, cool stuff indeed. Let us let us grab our next track, shall we? But thank you. Yes, <laughs> someone who needs no introduction is our friend Michael, aka Z -Z 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 Land Band uh, DJ Gabby Gabri Gabri. DJ Gabri is up next. Uh, the the feature on this is Dante Thomas, Miss California. This was really cool. This one just turned up in my inbox. I'd not heard of this artist. It came out of nowhere, and uh, I thought it was cool. And I kind of I kind of adore the album artwork. So yeah, it, it just made me intrigued and say, what is what is this? What is going to happen here? Uh, let's find out together, shall we? This is Turn It Up, DJ Gabri and Dante Thomas. Your music live. Yeah, DJ Gabri and AGI. Down to Thomas, Mr. California, come on, turn it up, come on, yeah. DJ, turn it up, R&B, hip hop, party in the club. Very cool. 
cool stuff there. Yeah, really well produced there. Uh, really like that. Obviously, it gets you into the groove, very bouncy tune. Uh, what, what my favourite thing of that was, there's a really cool uh, riser there that was actually like a vocal riser where it's a... Uh, and it was really cool. It was really well done. And that's something that if I was producing that sort of music, uh, yeah, you wouldn't think to do that because you think of a riser, you think of, you know, like a shh, like a reverse cymbal or like a reverse key sound. But doing it with vocals, uh, I thought it worked really, really well. G'day, Christopher Rossi. It's our, it's our mate, Christopher Rossi. Appreciate you being here. Hello to everyone. Uh, happy Easter for those who celebrate. Yeah, I kind of forgot because it's Monday morning here in Australia. Uh, but it, of course, is Easter Sunday night for many of you. So, uh, yeah, if you celebrate or if you, you know, just like the excuse of having a bit of a quiet time. Do you get a public holiday on the Monday uh, for many folks? We do. So it's public holiday here today. Uh, my children weren't even awake when I started this show at 8.30am here. So uh, they're, they're enjoying, they're enjoying the public holiday and a little bit of a, a chocolate egg hangover, I'm sure. Let's, uh, let's play our next tune. This one comes to us from Evolution. Uh, my Mind, spelt my mind with a one, is the fourth single from my upcoming album, Words That Don't Exist due on June 7th, 2024. I love it when an album is due out. It's like it's like you're having a baby. Kind of is, isn't it? It's like you're birthing. You're birthing a baby, a baby of, of music. Uh, let's give this one a spin. This is Evolution. My mind here on your music live. Underneath the stars when the air been tied Christmas in the breeze, six moon curve But in this is a heaven, I keep you forever Down by the beach, drinking colada She caught me off, gonna measure like a martyr Sex in all night, it's never can other Love so infectious, makes me love harder Baby, don't you know I tried to make you understand My mind I'll write it in the new Your times Just so you read how I'm feeling Baby, don't you know I tried to make you understand my mind? I'll write it in the New York Times just so you read how I'm feeling. Evolution there. Uh, your, your growth as an artist has been quite phenomenal. Uh, I've always enjoyed your stuff and, uh, you know, what, this is meant to be a backhanded compliment, but you've always had a really raw emotional delivery and I love your, I love your rapping. But, yeah, the chorus in that one, the production in that was really, really cool. It really, really slapped. And the, the contrast, that was beautiful contrast between the verse and then kicking into that chorus with the wonderful rise and the hi-hats and the, the kick drum. Oh, it's just good. Good stuff. Yes, brilliant. Uh, thank you for sharing that one. Evolution UK. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful production on that one. Uh, we're coming up towards the midpoint of the show here, folks. What we do at the midpoint is uh, we have a few things. We have Pete's Pick, which is Pete's Pick of the Week, which is a song that uh, maybe you haven't heard before but I think is cool and I think you should listen to. Uh, we also have our featured artists revealed and we go under the covers and play some cover songs for you. Although today we go under the cover because we got just one. But that's okay. We're going to spin it for you anyway. Let's uh, let's play this one. This one comes to us from Brad McLaughlin. And uh, he says, uh, I used a backing track and played lead guitar over the track was recorded in one take. I have the permission from the backing track creators to use it. If the link does not work, uh, it's Tears for Fire by Brad McLaughlin on YouTube. The link did work. And we are going to spin this one. Tears of Fire. Brad McLaughlin, your music live.
cool stuff. Yes, indeed. Definitely can play indeed. Nice progression on that one. Uh, yeah, just really cool. Again, great, great song, great music, great musicianship. Uh, really dig the video though. Really good production on that one. Sometimes you can just find exactly the right uh, the right clips to throw something together that really works for a song, and uh, that definitely was the case with that one. Fantastic stuff indeed. Uh, next up, we have the one, the only, and uh, Matt's back. Hi, Pete. Hope all is super duper. Latest track in Logic Pro iOS. A slow start, but I like the chorus. All the best from Matt and we're going to give this one a spin. This is uh, Matt, our mate Matt Dunning and uh, this is a track called Release here on Your Music Live. Stuff there. I dig it. Nice visuals again, and just a really good selection of sounds. That's what I'd highlight with that one there from uh, from Maddie. Yeah, just the, the different sounds, the different synth sounds just work so well with each other. Uh, and sometimes you just find that palette. You find the, the right drums and the right sounds and the right bass, and they all just come together in a very agreeable composition. I like it. like the sound of that one. Uh, you can check that one. And all of the other one, uh, yeah, there is a lot of instrumental landscapes on the show today. I dig it. Uh, yeah, it took me back. Yeah, very, very good textures. Exactly right. Uh, hello, hello, Nick. Euro. Uh, hello to everyone. If you're here, if you're just lurking in the shadows, no problems. Uh, but if you are here and you want to say g'day, say g'day. Be like Smokey1437 and say hello. Uh, we do this each and every week here on Studio Live today, and we could only do it because of the support of these folks. DistroKid. Get your music out using DistroKid. Uh, save yourself 7% off your first year on any DistroKid plan. And I'll tell you about another cool DistroKid feature in the second half. But for now, we're going to play my least band name to say. Why? Because I don't know if you know this about me, but I've got a little bit of a lisp. By the way, who decided that it should be called a lisp when people with a lisp have to say lisp to say, I'm sorry, I've got a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> but moths on leaves. For some reason, trying to say moths on. Uh, so I'm just going to say um, flying bugs on leaves. Uh, Andreas and I are excited to share this new song. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Our first together in almost a year. I had it pretty much completely written, but needed a bridge or solo or just something else. Andy added a bass solo in the middle and it was perfect. Yeah, Pete, I know you don't play guitar solos, but this is a bass solo worthy of any listen. It starts at two minutes ten. Oh, we're gonna we're we gonna reach it. Are we gonna reach the bass solo? I think we might have to make an exception and play a little more than two minutes to hear a bass solo. Because I'm not sure that we've played many bass solos. 
on this before. Let's give it a spin. It's called Broken Glass and Dice. Your music life. <laughs> worth it. Definitely worth it. There's that bass. Oh, boy. Yep, yeah, okay. Definitely worth waiting for the bass solo, 100%. Lovely stuff, just like really, really cool. Like sometimes bass solos try to be too many octaves, too much picking and slapping, but that was just smooth with just a little do 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 Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff there. Moths on leaves. Thank you for sharing that one. Uh, speaking of sharing, we've just got one more song left to share in the first half. We're almost on time. We're a little over time, but there's nothing new <laughs> because I've been rabbiting on too much. It is exactly chocolate. <laughs> Ran out of references. Uh, you know who we haven't heard from for a hot minute? Uh, uh, Mr. Happy Ron. Uh, we've heard Ron producing like with other singers and, and doing some other stuff recently, but some classic Happy Ron is what we got here today. This is Happy Ron and the Friends, uh, the second in a series of songs about things Happy Ron learned as a young woman that have made him the man he is today. Let's give this one a spin. It is called Breathe, Breathe, Breathe. Happy Ron here to take us out in style for the first half on Your Music Life. Sometimes you slip away from me And I know you're not going someplace good Your eyes drift away and you cannot see The beauty I hoped you would You just need to see you just need to be seen and breathe, breathe, breathe. So let's just agree that I'll stay here and give you a shelter in the storm so you can sail past all your fears and come home to where it's warm 
you just need to see and you just need to be seen not your fault just an echo from long ago life is calling for you it's time to enjoy the show someday you'll stay here with me and won't head back to the night beautiful stuff there from our mate happy ron and i'm happy to play that one from happy ron yeah, Monarch Butterfly is uh, kind of dope. Did you? I didn't even realize this, but we had uh, we had moths on. Uh, we had moths, and then we have butterflies. So all the all the flying former caterpillars going on. <laughs> oh man, good stuff! Thank you, everyone. What a great first half. Second half, are, are you going to be able to live up to the first half? I think that's a challenge that you're ready to accept. This is Your Music Live. Thank you for being here. A little bit of housekeeping and then we'll dive into a few cool things. We've got my pick coming up. We've got our uh, featured artist. We're going to do some cover songs and we're going to play more of your independent music. We do it thanks to these folks at DistroKid. Check them out down in the description. Save 7% off your first year. While you're there, hit the thumbs up and check out all the tracks because I list all of the tracks that we play here and where they're located, whether it be YouTube or SoundCloud or Slaps or whatever. Uh, and and, uh, yeah, don't forget, we do this every week. So share the show. Let other people know that we do this each week and we share your music. It is time for my pick. And my pick this week uh, is an artist that many of you know. Or let me rephrase that. Many of you know of this person, but perhaps you haven't heard their music before. It's a band by the name of Wire Drawn, and uh, I'm going to play the song, and uh, this is from their uh, EP from five years ago called Loose Lips Sink Ships, uh, and I'm going to play the song called The City on, This City on Fire, and uh, let's give this one a spin. Pete's pick here, Wire Drawn, on your music live. Just cool stuff. Love it. Love it. Uh, so that was Wire Drawn. And if the voice in that song sounded a wee bit familiar, yeah, that's Patrick from the Garage Band 
guide. And uh, that was a song from his Wire Drawn EP five years ago. And I'm putting that out there as a as a as a plea for Patrick to re- produce more music. I get it because I'm in the exact same boat. Yeah, when you do a full time job as being a YouTube content creator, sometimes it's your own music that gets kind of pushed to the bottom of the heap. But Patrick makes amazing music, and uh, the guitar tones in there, the production, the vocals, just everything spot on. So uh, go and check that out. Uh, Wire drawn, and if enough people leave enough comments on uh, Patrick's music, maybe we'll get some new wire drawn in the future. It is time for our featured artist and this week it's an artist who every time I play one of the not enough superlatives to say how cool it is. What I usually say about this artist is they they put my stereo speaker set up to the absolute test because they use super precise panning. They use a great range of instruments and synth sounds and they just create this. Someone said before, today is like a, a, a musical instrumental landscape of a show. And this artist is the perfect artist to sum up all of that. Uh, It is an artist whose name I finally am able to say correctly almost every time. It's Hypnotic Transmissions. How funny would it be if I uh, got it wrong that time? Hypnotic Transmissions. And what we do with our featured artist is I pick one of my favourite songs of theirs to play right here in the midpoint, and then we close out with a new song, which we will do at the end of the show. So this is one called uh, Hypnagogia. Hypnagogia, I can't pronounce it, but I sure do like it. It's uh, one of my favourite songs from this artist uh, from a few years back. Uh, and they're probably going to be cringy going, no, don't play the old stuff. But it just goes to show you how, uh, how much great music has been produced by Hypnotic Transmissions for a long time. So let's give this one a spin and uh, take it away. Our featured artist, Hypnotic Transmissions. <laughs> Thank you. 
that hypnotic transmissions here on Your Music Live, our featured artist of the week. Yeah, really just sits beautifully there in the zone, doesn't it? And uh, yeah, again, when when I need some some just chill music, when I'm doing something like the admin, like the taxes, like the emails, uh, yeah, hypnotic transmissions, definitely someone who I reach towards. And we've got a brand new track from hypnotic transmissions later in the show. But it's time to dive under the covers now. And uh, we're going to do that with Ezekiel. Mianskum, uh, who says this is a cover of Bob Dylan, Now That I Know You Accept Covers. Yes, we do. We play, play a few covers every week, as long as they're not too accurate. The song's being too much like the original uh, and uh, getting flagged or blocked or things like that. So just don't make it, don't make it too good. <laughs> make it your own. Uh, let's give this one a spin. This is Blow It In The Wind, the classic Bob Dylan tune. Ezekiel Mianskum, here on your music. Love. you can call my man How many seas must the white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand How many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned The answer my friend is blowing in the answer is blowing in the wind. How many years must the mountain exist before it is washed to the sea? How many years must some people exist before they're allowed to be free? How many times? Pretend that he just doesn't see The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing in the Beautiful stuff there from Ezekiel Mianskum. Uh, great stuff, great work, and uh, thank you for sharing that one. Yeah, I reckon uh, it might might be uh, might be getting a might be getting a strike on that one. You reckon? Possibly. <laughs> Hopefully not. No, a great, great version of a very cool song. Recorded this just two days ago. Very cool stuff. Uh, well done. Thank you for submitting that. Uh, appreciate it. Big time. Uh, let us uh, let us continue on. That was it. That was our only, <laughs> our one and only uh, song, uh, cover song for this week. So, Emmanuel, thank you. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any under the cover segment this week. Uh, let's move in to our big second half. We've got some amazing artists coming up to play for you here in the second half of the show kicking off with uh with or tad marion uh and this one oh this is one of the alter egos of uh, <laughs> of peter zamory um he says an upbeat breakup song that oh t- sad ted is a huge tom petty fan and this was recorded in tom style she'll turn you inside out Let's give it a spin here, shall we? No, let's not, because the cloud of sounds want to advertise to me. So let's give this one a spin. Uh, this is uh, Turns You Inside Out on Your Music Live. <laughs>
are definitely harmonies uh, out the wazoo in that one. Very cool stuff. See, everyone's saying 60s vibe, which I guess it does have a bit of a Beatles, Monkeys kind of vibe there. But I'm hearing R.E.M., uh, like an early REM, late 70s, early 80s REM stuff in there. Really good stuff, though. But, yeah, the guitars working off each other. And I love those long-held uh, notes with that. Ah, really cool. The vocals in that one, very cool stuff. Uh, dig it. I dig it. Yeah, group effort all, all, all around. Beatles, Beatles vibe, maybe. <laughs> good stuff, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 80s R.E.M., little, little, little R.E.M., little Michael Stipe on those vocals. Uh, but then again, uh, and 70s Aerosmith, there you go. So six, was it 60s Beatles, 70s Aerosmith or 80s R.E.M.? Just got, All those probably just follow on and uh, we're all inspired by each other anyway. Uh, let us uh, grab our next uh, song, shall we? Uh, this next one comes to us from Adam Korn. Good to hear and see you back, Adam. Uh, we have played Adam on the show before, always new and interesting songs. This one's no exception. Here's a new song about political uh, underhandedness in the US. The wolves are coming. They're at the door. What will you do? Recorded and mixed in garage band Mac OS, streaming on all platforms. Thanks from Adam Korn. And because Adam is uh, just an awesome dude, you, you know that he's releasing with DistroKid. You can see it right there, provided to YouTube by our friends at DistroKid. And we'll tell you a little more about DistroKid right after this one. This is Adam Korn. Corn, wolves at the door on your music live. A great song. What excellent songwriting there from Adam Corner. I really dig that. I love – here's the thing. Like sometimes, you know, you, if you're angry about a topic, you just want to write really literal. You just want to go, man, things are terrible and people suck. But sometimes something like that just sends the same message but does it in such a clever and upbeat and vibey way that, uh, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Yeah. And what do I love about that? Walls at the door. Yeah. It just, and the, the rhyming, like those little, da, 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 da. like it just hits you fast and hard. Super cool, super fun. Yeah. A little zapper, little zapper style there. Good work there from Adam Korn. And as I mentioned, <clears throat> Adam Korn uh, uses DistroKid because he's a very smart cookie. Uh, and he, he uses DistroKid because uh, they're awesome. <laughs> and they've actually got a bunch of different ways that you can use them. You can be a single musician or you can go for the Musician Plus plan. If you hit this upgrade button, let's say you've got a second artist. And a lot of us do. You you want to release your regular stuff, but then maybe you've got a sign project. You want to get a little bit experimental and weird, like Thomas Christ has his folk you. I have my righty-dokey. 
you can go with the Musician Plus plan, and that means you get two different artist names. So I can release under Pete Johns, and I can release under Righty Doki. You also get some other cool features. You get the synced lyrics in Apple Music. You get daily streaming stats. You can customise your label name if you've ever wanted to own your own record label. You can customise release date and iTunes pricing. That release date one is important because if you want to do a pre-release, you want to try and get onto playlists or anything like that, you will need to be able to do the customised release date. So you'll need the music plus plan it just means that you can plan for your release and say yeah it's coming out on this date and uh, everyone can get ready and get uh, excited for it so very cool stuff there musician plus just 39.99 <laughs> and district kid sent me a, a message lately saying ah we're, we're sorry we've got a tiny price increase because it used to be 35.99 a year it's gone up by like four dollars a year and that's the only increase since i've been using distro kid which is uh, seven years now so that's pretty amazing. Think about your think about your Hulu, your Disney Plus, your Apple Music, your YouTube Premium. Have any of those only gone up once in the last seven years and only gone up five percent? I think not. So DistroKid are really helping out. And uh, as Thomas says, no here if you want to learn more about DistroKid. All you need to do is go to that web address, studiolifetoday.com slash DistroKid. I've done all the hard work for you. Let's uh, let's continue on here. Let's play this one from Kev the Guitar. Kev the Guitar says, a little creativity on GarageBand after watching Pete's recent looting episode. Cool. Uh, found some really great stuff and added some live guitar tracks too. Not sure if it's too busy. Hmm. Well, we will find out about this. I don't think so. Is, is there such a thing as too much guitar? <laughs> uh, this is Kev the Guitar and it's called White or Wong here on your music live. Kev the guitar, yeah, suddenly feel like there should be a disco ball and bell bottoms, perhaps, perhaps. Very cool stuff there from Kev. Thank you for sharing that one. White or Wong? I don't know. You do, you be the judge. Good stuff indeed there. And what did I like about that one? I like the fact that uh, Kev tried something different. He said, yeah, let's let's try these loop things. Uh, and I the reason I do those sort of experimental shows where I'll show you something like Apple Loops and say, hey, these are available for you. You don't have to use them, but you can use them. So, yeah, go with that. Uh, by the way, thanks to Doug and Scotty for, for letting me know the microphone audio. I uh, I had a um, noise gate filter on there, which I've now turned off. So take a listen and see if it's going to be better. I think sometimes a noise gate can sometimes create too much of that artificialness. It does help because you don't hear as much of my breathing, but it might have been a little bit aggressively set. So I've turned that off now and uh, we'll see how we go. And I'm wearing the headphones too, so you're not going to get the bleed from the audio. See all the things I do for you folks? <laughs> They'll probably come off later because I'd rather listen with the speakers, but I know sometimes we get a little bit of, uh, of feedback. 
Crimson Crocs have got a brand new single. Hey, say hey, Pete. This is our brand new video for our latest single off our Teenage Rebel album entitled Hit the Lights. We've all been in bad situations. This song depicts the struggle and strength to persevere in the midst of temptation. Also, thanks to the Tape Cassette 2 free AU tip in your GarageBand tutorials, we used it for vocal saturation on every song on this album and it created so much more depth. A round of the pause for you, Pete. Thank you. Get those paws flying. Uh, yeah, sounded gated. Cool. Well, hopefully I'm sounding a little bit better now. Uh, let's um, let's give this one a spin, shall we? This is a Crimson Crux and Hit the Lights here on your music live. Let's hit it. Very cool stuff. My neck's starting to get sore from the head banging, so I'm going to have to turn it down for a bit. <laughs> very cool stuff there from Crimson Crux, and I was uh, there for the premiere, which was very cool. Uh, well, what do I love about that one? Well, you're right. That the, the vocals really cut through beautifully in that one, so the saturation on those vocals obviously working very well for you there. Um, yeah, and just an all-round rock and tune. I think as someone said, it's cool. I think it was uh, Chris Lane, uh, senior, who said, um, yeah, it's cool when just we just have bands that come out of come out of nowhere, seemingly. But you know what they say: you know, it takes a long time to become an uh, overnight success, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's continue on. Yeah, a lot of miles this shit. Black velvet to my little boy smiles, something like that. Paul, we have not heard from Paul for a hot minute. And uh, Paul says, hi, Pete. I Won't Pray was originally recorded in Cubasis 2 around 2019. Uh, I never write lyrics. I leave it up to the listener to decide. Uh, this version was remixed in Cakewalk this year, uh, 2024, and mastered by DJ Big Red 81 Very cool. Thank you, Pete, for your support from Paul. Love it when uh, some cool folks, a uh, couple of cool folks from around the community, get together, work together, and do their thing. Uh, let's give this one a spin, shall we? It's called I Won't Pray. Paul on your music life. This is what I want to say. This is what I need to do. This is all I need to say.
cool stuff there love it love the vocal tone and the production on that one really really crisp vocal sound coming through on that one and yeah i haven't seen dj big red around for a while i also haven't seen clayton von Cluge around uh, for a couple of days it's funny these folks that uh, that they are their absence is noticed paul that was awesome yeah the arrangement was brilliant and the overdriven drums were brilliant yeah sorry I, I know i'm trying to do the thing where i say only one thing about each song but that one was really cool um, nicely done there. And maybe Paul knows uh, where DJ Big Red is. He's, he's, he's dodging us. He's, um, what do they call What do the kids say? He's um, not fading. He's, he's ghosting. He's ghosting. Or maybe he's just, you know, busy with life because <laughs> that can happen too. Don't worry. There's no, no prerequisite to be there. I realised I did a really bad thing this week. I usually try to play our uh, UK and European artists earlier in the show because... You know, it's the middle of the night now, and especially with daylight saving changes. And I've, I've, I've stuck Sticks for Guns, and I've stuck Cronk Song, and I've stuck Spicy Tempo here in the second half late in the show. So uh, apologies for that. Uh, if you're still hanging out with us, thank you <laughs> for, for staying up. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're watching on the replay, hello and apologies. I'll try and do better. Uh, like I say, I try, do try and put our UK and European folks up earlier. This is Sticks for Guns. You know I love Sticks for Guns. Uh, I've tried to add a mix of foot tapping with a generous helping of head nodding. Hopefully I've pulled it off. Could you please play from around the 42nd mark? I sure can. Uh, let's cue this one up and take a listen. This is Sticks for Guns and an afternoon drive to survive. Your music live. love that because it fits the description and the name of it perfectly. Definitely a driving song. Like it's, yeah, a great video to go along with it as well. But yeah, really, it just, it makes you feel this, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? 
<laughs> Sometimes songs make you feel things, and yeah, the fact that you can do that with with all these all these fake instruments, all these synths and things that people are like, oh, it's not real instrument. You can't make people feel with synths. It's like, yes, you can. My goodness, amazing stuff there. Sticks for guns. Uh, who was a featured artist a couple of months ago here on the show? Someone who I always enjoy their music. Of that was a really awkward clunky sentence. Let's do one more. It's, it's it's very relevant that we play spicy tempo and then we do play my fire beat. Get it? So we, we might even call it play my spicy beat today. <laughs> this is bubbly in Vegas. It's a bluesy new jazz track that I created on GarageBand while on a trip to Las Vegas, the brightest place on earth from outer space, dropping on March 28th, which has passed. So we can play it for you right now. Bubbly in Vegas, spicy tempo, your music life. stuff indeed now was that the was that the garage band guitar was that the virtual guitar in garage band if so that was amazing because uh yeah you're making that thing sing that was brilliant how weird is vegas by the way with the the msg sphere that they have there oh, nuts yeah the organ was great in that one makes me want to get my drink on yeah it's uh very very nice nice and spicy for sure and you know what we should in fact we should do that. I think Paul already put it in there. So start, he might already have an entry in here. Let's go with hashtag spicy. And uh, as out, yep, look, it's worked. There you go. Paul's already in there. <laughs> Let's make that our code word. Hashtag spicy. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff there from uh, from spicy tempo. And it's made me say spicy. What happens in YML stays in YML. Absolutely. All righty. Uh, yeah, so, and again, I'm, I'm experimenting with, with this microphone just to find the right sort of balance. I think I actually also have the gain set a little too high, so I've turned that sucker down a little bit here. It's all a learning experience, even though I've been doing this for how long now? Three years? Four years? <laughs> Four years. Um, yeah, it, it's still always a learning experience. When it comes to audio, just when you think you've got it all dialed in, doesn't quite do it for you and you got to change it up. All right, let's, uh, let's play another song. Psycho7, who says, just reminiscing and looking back at tunes I created before meeting this awesome community and thought this song says it all. We all want to be something. Uh, back when all I had was a four-track tape recorder built into my mixer, before I knew of doors, uh, non-destructive editing and copy-paste features, and when I was uh, less, less self-conscious about recording vocals. So grateful for this community and all I've learned since meeting everyone. Well, good to have you around here. We're going to jump in here and uh, take a little listen to this here on Your Music Live.
began. I do like a um I do like hearing you can just hear like it sounds that that old super saturated tape sound that you get from something like that. Very cool stuff. Always good to uh always good to go back to the start and hear what uh, what it sounded like. I know uh, I used a four track for a long time as well. Yeah, my track tonight is also four track. There you go. Yeah, back back in the old. Maybe I should find all my old four track tapes. Uh, I don't have a four track tape player though. I would have to do that thing where you have to record the two tracks because basically four track works with by putting, you know, track one is side A left and then track two is side A right. Track three is side B left and track four is side B right. So that's why I could use regular stereo tapes. It just uses those. So if you play it, uh, it would it would give you the two tracks, one left and one right, and then if you play it the other side of the tape it will give you the two tracks going the other way. So it makes it very hard to sync up. <laughs> if you if you want to try and do it, you can. Better off trying to get yourself a four-track. If I have a four-track uh, tape recorder, I just don't know anyone that knows how to fix them. Like I, I would love to get it sort of refurbished and fixed up, but a nice Yamaha four-track cassette player, but no idea where, where to go to get that fixed. Um, Frank Terzo is next. Uh, Frank? Complacency can be a relationship killer. A relationship is a living and breathing thing that needs constant nurturing through attention and care. The foundation of a strong and lasting relationship consists of honesty, kindness, respect, intimacy, and humility. Take charge and put in the time and energy as we did from the first day. Very cool stuff. It's called Won't Dance Alone. It's brand new. It's from Frank Terzo. Very fitting too, Frank, because uh, this uh, it's my anniversary today. 18 years married to my good wife. So there you go. Uh, this is Won't Dance Alone. Frank Terzo here on your Music Live. Time tick away. Been sitting since morning, but it ain't said I'm coming. So maybe a few years away. But I swore that I'd wait, and I won't let her down. Cause God knows I've heard her before. Someday soon. So don't let the roses die. Don't let the river dry. Be the sun, be the rain. The warm breeze at night. So don't let the roses. I mean, look, I'm a sucker, Frank, for, for a 6A to 3 4, any sort of waltz time signature. And I'm not a country fan, but I, I like that vibe. I'm, I'm liking it more, the sort of country rock stylings, um, especially with sort of like a ballad song like that. So, super cool, really good stuff there from our mate Frank. 
Terzo. And so, sorry, thank you all for the kind wishes for my anniversary. And sorry, Frank, to, to, to just jump on the back of that. But hey, music sh should inspire you. And that's definitely a cool song that, um, yeah, I, I loved all, all the explanations you gave about relationships there. Um, honesty, kindness, respect, intimacy, and humility. And that's the thing. Like people, people think that, oh, if my, my relationship isn't working, if things go wrong, it's like, guess what? That's life. Things are going to go wrong. It's not necessarily what happens. It's how you bounce back. It's how you react. It's the resilience. So, yeah, I'd, I'd add resilience to that. And unfortunately, of all the relationships I've seen around me that have broken down, I think it's a lot of it's to do with unrealistic expectations and uh, a lack of communication and, and humility, exactly as you said there. Very cool stuff. Um <laughs> Look, you know what? We, we talk about all sorts of things. Hypnotic transmissions, irrelevant question, but anyone knows something to use with a 21 month old, 21 month old cough? Um, yeah, like if, if you're not, if you can't use any of the cough medicine and stuff, it can be tricky. We found that a, a vaporizer was fabulous for coughs and colds and snotty noses. Uh, you can get vaporizer and you put this um, fluid, it's like, you know, that Vicks stuff. So Vicks make one and other ones make one. And you put that in their room and it boils, like it's very safe because it's it doesn't not hot to touch. But it basically boils water and then puts vapor into the air. And breathing that in for a few hours, it really sort of clears up. And we found that with our kids when they were when they were little bubs, that um, a vaporizer was uh, was really really handy. Um, there you go. <laughs> we talk about everything. Yeah, the neb nebulizer, vaporizer, same sort of thing. They work an absolute treat in my experience. So hopefully that's uh, a thing. Uh, oh, I've just I just need to I just need to uh, do a quick bit of housekeeping here. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of storage space on my Mac here and uh, I need to empty my trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's 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 interesting. I need to get a, I need to get a new I need to get a new computer. I'm just going to delete some files here. <laughs> So you get to see uh, you get to see sort of files being deleted. You get to see an admin. We got advice for 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 coffee toddlers. Uh, we talk about everything here um, around uh, around the show. Um, yeah, no bourbon on the on the finger with the with the thing. Um, yeah, let's um let's continue on with our. Oh no, you know what we haven't done. We haven't played our fire. We haven't uh, done our fire beat drawing, and you all put your spices in there, and then we didn't draw it. So uh, let's come back and do that. Let's um let's do this. Bring a bit of Frank in the background and draw it. Play my fire beat. Hey, Scotty, baby. Congratulations to Scotty, baby. Uh, yeah, I know, Tom. Uh, that was that was sad, wasn't it? That we both got the minimum storage with our Mac M1s. Friends don't let friends buy Macs with uh, 256 gig of storage because it's a constant battle. <laughs> uh, well done, Scotty. Uh, appreciate you. And, and uh, we do have some Scotty Baby coming up uh, in a little while, in a few songs' time. But we'll have a double feature. We'll have a Scotty Baby double feature. All uh, right, very cool stuff. Congratulations on that one. Let us uh, let us give this one a spin while we wait for uh, Scotty Baby to decide which we're playing. We're going to go to another one. This is apparently on a four track as well. This is Paul O'Farrell who says new video for an old song. All right, well let's give this a spin, shall we? It is called the worst thing that could happen. Uh, this is Paul O'Farrell here on Your Music Live. The worst thing that could happen. You might die. Leave me alone. You might live. Leave me alone. You might go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What would I do if you left me alone? What could I do to sit by the phone? Sit by the phone, hope of the rain. Sit by the phone, think of this, think of this thing. Think of these things, what will it bring? I might do anything, anything. Bring you back, I might die. Things fly, things fly. Things fly. Things fly. 
black. How cool was that? <laughs> it came, it did its thing, and uh, and it went. Very cool stuff there uh, from Paul O'Farrell. I, I love it when people ha take something old and uh, just recapture it and make it new again. Very cool. Definitely takes me back to the 90s as well. Excellent stuff there. Very punkish, punkish vibes going on. All right, uh, let's, uh, let us grab our next song. I'm still finding this one from, uh, from Scotty Baby, so I'll continue looking for that one. Uh, but while we, while we wait for Johns to uh, pull through that, uh, let's play this one here from Bradley McKnight, who says, this song is called Can't Refuse It. This song is reflecting on my artist journey and looking forward to what the future has to offer. Available on all streaming platforms and stores. Cool stuff. Let's, uh, let's bring this in here. Give it a paste. And uh, give it a spin. Bradley McKnight on Your Music Live. Everybody's true to me All my dreams turn into realities Ran out of my tragedies I wanna live so lavishly I sleep at night so happily A year ago when I dropped my first song Back when things were going wrong Even though I'm... Yeah, <coughs> excuse me, after party chill vibes there for sure on that one. So, uh, for that, I agree. Uh, Bradley McKnight there. You know what I love about that? <clears throat> I love hearing people sing where it brings a bit of their own kind of accent to it. Because I don't know, sometimes people sing and you try to sound too much like other singers and just bring in a little bit of your own uh, style into it is very cool. Yeah, nice, clean, clean production and some nice vibes in that one there. Uh, Metalhead Hippie, yeah, sorry, mate, we're, we're, way, we're way behind and uh, it's going to change again next week when we go out of daylight saving. So apologies if there's uh, some, some crossover. But the Metalhead Hippie will be up next. Uh, if you need to kick off, that is no problem. we got ourselves, uh, yeah, about another five or six tracks to play here on the show. Every every week I try to make it two hours. Do I ever do it? No, I really, really don't. All right, let's uh, let's continue on because I've found, I've found the Scott Brothers Band. This is our second Play My Fire beat and uh, he's gone all the way back to 2016 for this one, uh, nine years ago, and uh, it is called My Secret Soul. This song is dedicated to my extraordinary daughter. There you go. You can read about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that in the description of this one so you can go and check it out. Let's give this one a spin. Uh, Scotty Brother, Scotty Baby. Scott Brothers Band, you're me blind. This and it's an ad. <laughs> oh, SoundCloud, you saucy mix. You and your advertising trying to make money, I tells you. All right, let's give it a spin.
go. A little glimpse at uh, the uh, another side of uh, Scotty Baby there. Very cool stuff. I love it. It's been a uh, – the other theme today has been people sharing stuff from their past, getting a little bit nostalgic and retro. Kind of makes me uh, makes me want to go back into the archives and pull out some stuff too. Uh, very cool. Spicy tempo. Good stuff. Uh, thank you for sharing. Thank you. And congratulations for winning the Play My Fire Beat Part 2. And we'll do that again next week as well. By the way, uh, day change for next week. Just a uh, pre-warning on that one uh, that we'll be going a day later next week. So uh, I'll, I'll give you plenty of updates and more warnings as we get closer to the day. But if you if you rock on in, expecting YML at the usual time and day, will actually be a day later next week. So there you go. I won't be, I won't be conflicting with much <laughs> next time around. So uh, mark your calendars now accordingly. Uh, let's uh, grab this next song. It's a Kronk song. It's our mate, Mark Kronk song level. Uh, I don't know if you're still around in the chat, Mark, because it's bloody one o'clock in the morning in the, in the UK or something crazy like that. Uh, but let's give this Kronk song a listen. It is called Recorder. And uh, I immediately, as soon as I brought that up, ha heads up who has kids who's played the recorder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it kind of gave me an immediate like, oh. Uh, Crocsong says, hope you're well. I'm afraid I picked up the dreaded plastic school recorder again and this happened. And yes, it's based on a true story. It was done in GarageBand without much finesse. Uh, if you feel it in your heart to help a fellow guitarist and give it a play on your wonderful show, I would be most grateful. Your tongue, yours tongue in cheekly from Cronk Song. Let's give it a spin. I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm actually quite scared. Um, let's play this one. Recorder from Cronk Song. Many of us have been there and experienced the joy of the uh, school, the plastic school recorder. Um, yeah. All righty. Um, no, I don't know. I don't want to force quit my applications here. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I better get a move on here. That was brilliant. I better get a move on here because my computer needs some serious maintenance work here because it's um it's running out of space. And I don't know how. I don't know how it keeps doing that. So while we play this next track from Scotty Pavey, I'm going to uh, do a little bit of... 
the maintenance by removing and deleting some stuff. Because, uh, yeah, don't buy don't buy a Mac with 256 gig of RAM. I think I may need to buy myself a new, a new computer as my anniversary present to myself. <laughs> the Scott Brothers Band say, Dear Pete, I humbly dedicate this song to you. Here's a backstory. Uh, this is the first song I ever made using GarageBand two years ago with my basic knowledge from your videos. Two weeks ago, my wife gave me a PRS guitar for Persian New Year's. Using everything that I've learned from you since, uh, the new guitar, I re-recorded it and here's what happened. An original rock instrumental from yours truly. Well, let's give this one a spin, shall we? The Scott Brothers Band here over on theslaps.com and it's called Indian Summer. Take it away. We're back. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Let's uh, let's fix up some uh, audio. Here. Let's get into the right thing. Oh dear. Uh, where is my where is my audio? It has not come back. <laughs> oh people, people. Yes, that was the biggest uh, biggest fail 
of all time. <laughs> yeah, I did. Buffer, buffer overload. Uh, let's see if I can get. Uh, I'm just gonna have to turn my audio interface off and back on again. You gotta, you gotta laugh when, when you have things like this. When you have technology things like this, you can only laugh, can't you? Otherwise, you're gonna cry. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Oh dear, um, let's see if we can get this back up and running. Uh, is my video coming through and my audio coming through my camera? We'll, uh, we'll see, we'll find out. Uh, yes, why me? Oh, why me, mate? <laughs> oh dear, it's, it's just like the real Easter, isn't it? But uh, let's see if it'll be resurrected. <laughs> We'll see if my, my mixer can reconnect and we can finish the show. We'll definitely see. We'll, we'll see. All right. We should be back. We should be back. We just need to turn on stereo audio. Uh, make sure echo cancellation is off. Turn up the volume a little bit. <laughs> shall I put my, shall I put my um, background back up? Yep. Let's do this. Let's go with the virtual background. Uh, the, the good news is, though, that um, thanks to thanks to the power of technology, uh, we with with the um, district kit, not district kit, with Streamyard, uh, I could just come back. Yeah, that, we were talking about raw audio before, weren't we? Uh, still camera audio. All right, let's switch it up again. We'll go. We'll go over to here. Bow, 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 bow. Right, we should be. We should be on the uh, the regular audio now. We should be coming through uh, the mixer. Everything is back. Are we good? <laughs> oh, thank you for your patience. You know what? I've always said the good thing about live uh, is that you never know what you're going to get, right? He's back. I know. You never know what you're going to get. You never quite know what's going to happen. Uh, and it could either be uh, an amazing slick production like the first two hours of the show uh, or it could go a little trade wrecky, <laughs> like the last bit. <laughs> All right, there's, there's my background screen. We're good to go. I reckon we can uh, we can bring it back uh, back on. Oh, I have a halo, yeah. So uh, thank you. We'll you get a little behind the scenes look here. There you go. <laughs> that's uh, that's because I've got to set my green screen to say I have a green screen. Because look at the moment, you're going to get a bit of that. And as soon as we tell that I've got a green screen, uh, we get less of the halo effect. All uh, right, let's uh, let's bring up. It was it was your new guitar was so epic it broke the stream. <laughs> uh, let's see what happened to my spreadsheet. This could be interesting. Oh dear, um, I think I saved it at some point before the the major uh, epic crash. So uh, let's see, let's see. Well, uh, would you like to start where you left off? Says Excel. I think so. We'll do that. Yes, please. Yes, please, Excel. Please load up my uh, my document and don't have crashed it. Uh, okay, it's it's almost up to date. It was up to Bradley McKnight there, so we've, we'll flick down here and we'll bring this one back up. All right, uh, let's do this. Uh, it has come to test us, hasn't it? We are being tested. All right. <laughs> A good thing is I can sign in now because I wasn't even signed into DistroKit. Oh, no, it's... <laughs> It's like uh, everything, it's forgotten me. My computer's completely forgotten who I am. I'm having to reset up everything else. Oh, that's doing a security checkpoint. I'm not going to be able to do that. This we'll just play this. It's a good thing. We don't have to be logged in to play this. All right. Now, just before that happened, we were playing this from the Scott Brothers Band. Let's see if this is going to come through this time. This is Indian Summer. Don't break my computer, bro. Here on your music life. <laughs>
the second time around. Nicely done there from Scotty Baby. You know what? I'm not going to pause too much. I'm going to keep this show moving because I'm not convinced that things are going to continue <laughs> working effectively. But thank you, Scotty. Uh, yeah, and um, too kind, too kind to uh, to to dedicate that to me, and uh, yeah, just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, isn't it? You can't uh, you can't control you can't control everything in this life. One three scribbles has just rocked on in, and guess what? You're next. What, what timing? Yeah, look at this. They say just got off work. I'm driving home. Didn't know if you played my song yet. Well, we're about to. <laughs> Assuming things go to plan. Uh, thanks, Punkster P. But by the way, before all of that, Punkster P gave a very kind ten dollar donation. So uh, thank you for that, and thank you everyone for your patience. All right, let's play this one. One three scribbles. They say this is my first successful mid tempo song, heavily influenced by artists like Rez and Zabo, created in Logic. Let's give it a spin. <laughs> sound is but it sounds like a predator or something so it's like something uh, scarifying final boss music yeah reckon so very cool stuff there one three scribbles yeah no please don't don't don't, uh, don't read don't read and drive you'll be fine you can check it out on the replay later yeah very very cool stuff i like it i feel surrounded by cosmic sheep totally all right we're, let's not gonna mess around here because we've got three songs to play anti-penultimate penultimate and ultimate we're gonna start with this one from stone dog a hold is a song about asking for help but not knowing what help you need or want. As always, all written, performed and produced entirely by yours truly. The third single from Stone Dog's upcoming second album is out on all streaming platforms now. And Stone Dog are awesome, so they release with DistroKid because of course they do. All right, let's give this one a spin. This is Stone Dog and Hold on your music line.
very cool. Yeah. I, I agree. A very minimalist kind of feel. Just a couple of sounds. Really cool. Kind of reminds me of Pearl Jam from like the sort of late 90s era. And then the vocals over the top there, almost U2 like, right? Yeah, very cool stuff. And I love, love the uh, album artwork. That just looks simple and effective and really cool. Well done indeed. Nice harmonies too. Agreed. Agreed. All right, uh, let's play up an ultimate tune, shall we? This is a band. They've been a featured artist before. Absolutely rock. And they go by the name of Rude, spelled R-O-U-X apostrophe D. And this is their brand new song called Forever. And we're going to spin it for you now. On your music I remember when you say Way back then our love Would last a lifetime Well I guess that time Is coming to an end Because I feel like time Turn away from it all And we just don't feel the Great production, great sounds, great vibes all round. Uh, dig it. Yeah, I'm a real big fan of Rude. Uh, I love and I love their logo and, and their, they, they need to do more merch. I'd, I'd totally wear a Rude t-shirt. <laughs> Not a Rude t-shirt, a Rude, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what? I'm going to finish up. I'm going to get while the getting's good or, you know, acceptable. Uh, thank you to Christopher Rossi, by the way, for for the uh, the deposit in the memory bank. Here's a problem I have, folks. I reckon Apple are about to release new Mac minis with the M3, which is what I want. So I don't want to upgrade yet. I'm holding out. And I think I just have to get to, I reckon, WWDC time or just before then, we'll see some new Macs and uh, then I will upgrade. But don't want to upgrade to the M2 now because I know I'll do it and the M3 will be like out. And you know, the ironic thing is that um, this, my iPad, has an M2 with like more memory. This has the M2 with 16 gig of RAM and like a terabyte of, of storage space. <laughs> anyway, I know, first world problems. Hypnotic Transmissions is our featured artist and we are going to close with something brand new from them. This is called uh, OG. Voita a music carrion demons. The English translation is Demon's Chime Music Box. I made this while thinking about a Demon's Chime Box that when someone found it and played it, the box would enchant them into taking their own life and their soul would go to the demon. Ooh, sounds kind of like that Bird Box movie that was just awful. I'm sure this is uh, much better than that. Let's give this one a spin. Our featured artist of the week, Hypnotic Transmissions. Thank you all for being here. You rock, uh, as we say uh, each and every week. Please be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Keep creating. Check out our wonderful sponsors, DistroKid. Save yourself 7% off on any DistroKid plan using the link up the top or down in the description. And I'll see you next time, folks. Bye for now.